Good morning. My name is Nantine Nantie Malala. I'm from Madagascar. Um, I'm the Madagascar Population Health uh, Environment Network Coordinator. And uh, today I will give uh, this uh, presentation uh, with the title uh, Impact on uh, Livelihoods of Integrating Family Planning Services in two community-led conservation initiatives in Madagascar. 80% um, of fauna and flora in Madagascar are found nowhere else with uh, uh, rural populations dependent on um, natural resources for um, livelihoods. Um, but the uh, sad reality is that um, in this uh, area, there's a height and met new health needs, and especially in uh, rural area, uh, which health services providers struggle to access. Uh, in on other hands, um, conservation and the environmental organization in the country uh, work um, in um, their zones and are well equipped uh, to work in isolated zones uh, and. Uh, we can see that uh, there is a possibility that uh, they, where, um, um, those partners can leverage their professional infrastructure as to strengthen health services delivery for um, underserved communities, uh, which means there's communities um, who live in this um, um, rural um, area uh, uh, with a high level of uh, biodiversity. Um, it is important to know um, how relevant uh, it is to work in holistically um, to support community-led uh, natural resource um, management. Um, first, we should um, know that there are priority and meet needs, and that includes, of course, money, uh, food, health, and uh, uh, there's uh, priority and meet needs present um, barriers to community engagement and that makes it difficult for um, um, to get a sustainable uh, community-based uh, natural resource management of course and uh, uh, what we need to do um, to tackle that is to support for alternative income generating um, activities um, um, as well as provision of health services to meet uh, those needs um, and then once we meet those needs, uh, that uh, can open the door to community engagement. And uh, um, this is an opportunity for, um, to achieve our um, objective of um, sustainability uh, uh, for uh, natural systems management initiative. But what is one question is, um, uh, even if the door to community is um, open, uh, will they walk through? So this is a key question that um, um, we still need to uh, have an answer. Um, to ensure that they are walking through this uh, door, we should have a management um, appetizer. Like here in the marine management um, um, uh, context, uh, example of a temporary fishery closure um, can have a quick benefit and then the community can uh, feel those benefits and then they can uh, be more engaged and walk um, through the door. Um, and community are able and motivated to engage more um, in an ambitious uh, marine uh, management uh, initiatives. And uh, what um, the support is around governance. Um, you can take the example of a locally managed uh, marine area, uh, LMMA. Um, so supporting them in terms of governance um, of those marine areas. Um, we talk about health, we talk about population, and then we talk about the environment. Um, all the links um, between those three um, topics uh, reflect the, um, the holistic approach, uh, which is uh, the population health uh, environment. 
Uh, in terms of health, well, we can say there is a different component like maternal child and health, water, uh, sanitation, hygiene, um, nutrition also. Um, in terms of population, we have um, voluntary family planning, um, generate income uh, activities, education, uh, environment, there's community-based natural resource management and uh, biodiversity conservation. Uh, once we um, uh, implement those um, activities together uh, through a joint uh, mission and cross-sector outreach activities, but then have um, more impact uh, both for uh, health um, sides and uh, for um, natural resources management, of course, can improve the community well-being and uh, also food security, um, can support an effective natural resources management um, and diversify of uh, households, uh, income activities, um, women and vulnerable people can play an effective role on uh, natural resource management and uh, in terms of results from uh, partners, uh, both for uh, health um, sectors and uh, environmental sector, there is a more added value in uh, implementing the main model that um, we use to implement this model is their health and uh, environmental organization. Um, who are working um, in partnership to implement together this um, holistic uh, and cross sectoral uh, approach. Um, there's benefit from um, four conservation uh, organizations uh, and four health organizations. Um, um, if we go more detail for um, environmental organizations, for example, uh, when increasing the access of basic health, uh, uh, which improve the health of communities that enable them to become more involved in conservation as the impact and the benefit of health is um, uh, um, direct and they can feel it directly on their daily life. Um, in terms of family planning, um, they will uh, allow couples to space their children births and reach their desired number, um, which would give, of course, women take more part in income generating activity and um, management of resource natural. Uh, for health organizations said, what's the benefits uh, of implementing this uh, holistic approach? As we say that the conservation uh, partners are well equipped uh, working in isolated um, um, areas. So they have the operational infrastructure and, and community relations. So that make easier to access isolated population for um, health organization. Uh, to establish um, collaboration with uh, conservation uh, organizations. And um, uh, in addition, that's encouraged greater use of uh, services than in areas where you don't have, have uh, local partners. As we say, the conservation organization already have uh, a strong community relations uh, um, from their um, daily activity. <coughs> um, the national uh, Population uh, Health Environment uh, Network in Madagascar have been created and um, bring together health uh, and the conservation organizations. We have now more than 40 uh, members within the uh, network. Um, um, how the network um, bring together those um, multiple partners uh, is uh, through um, national and regional coordination meetings. Uh, uh, training and learning exchange uh, visit also to uh, promote the exchange between partners and uh, learning um, so that uh, there is we ensure that there are um, experiences sharing between uh, partners um, and sharing resources and uh, connecting them together to identify um, opportunity of uh, partnerships. Now uh, what are the key findings? Um, we uh, have uh, found out that uh, family planning services provision enables uh, couple to space or limit their births uh, if they choose. Um, and uh, uh, relieving men of uh, child care responsibility, giving them more free time to engage in um, alternative conservation activities. Uh, and one additional uh, finding is um, where uh, alternative livelihood opportunities were available. 
uh, women may use their kitchen to engage with alternative, uh, more ecologically and sustainable and opportunities. Um, provision of community health services can advance women's engagement in natural resource management. And uh, health organizations can reach isolated community by using operational infrastructure of uh, uh, environmental uh, conservations. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, my presentations. Uh, thank you for taking the time.